Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't uh, sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. My two little dogs are right there. Uh, they've decided to join us <laughs> this morning, so um, uh, their heads might just kind of pop in and out of the <laughs> image once in a while. All right, so let's begin. What I have here is the coffin and the mountain. The coffin is um, something, it's like a feeling like something's over. Um, um, the coffin could be uh, something that one grieves over or has been grieving over. You know, a dashed hope, a dream that fell apart. Um, uh, a breakup it seems like whatever ended there appears to be a mountain in front of it or or this is their perspective okay it's their perspective that's how I'm going to put it because and I say that because of the first card out in a reading is it's it's Moira and she's kind of like that Eight of Swords energy, you know. It's it's um, a certain mindset. Um, here, uh, Mwaga um, feels like a victim. Um, she's struggling uh, with an inner choice. Um, she may feel, uh, because of her mindset, she may feel powerless to do anything about her situation. Um, she may have put herself here for sure uh, and doesn't know how to get out of it. Um, she would be having a lot of negative thinking. Um, Saturn is ruling this card. And the fact that the wheel is underneath in reverse says that this person had a chance at something. Um, but it didn't go or didn't it didn't go the way they wanted it to or it didn't turn out because there was something uh, that was missing or went unseen uh, something that wasn't learned and it's necessary that they have that lesson for the next part of the journey so in order to unblock this, they will have to look back and find that lesson, you understand. So, um, they're struggling here from what I see. The lovers is in the reverse. Um, it could be that they did indeed make a bad choice. And now, uh, look at this. <laughs> look. The, the mountain is here, and look what he's looking at. Uh, there you go, a mountain. Uh, he doesn't know how to get past the mountain, but it's heavily on their mind, but they're having a lot of negative thoughts. Maybe they feel they can't get over the, mount, the mountain. They can't get out of this place they are. And maybe for, for, for someone, uh, you know, although I do not, I have to say, I do not have the devil here, which speaks to patterns. I kind of feel like it could be a pattern because of the mindset because of their experiences that they've had you know maybe it's been uh, because they've been set up to think a certain way for a reason it doesn't just happen and, and, and so uh, with this energy I feel like there's been several bad experiences that set them up to uh, to see something in a certain way but maybe what's needed here is just a change of perspective. Change your thoughts, you change your world, you know. It could be also that what is needed here to do this, they, uh, because Moira speaks to forgiveness, 
and especially with the Capricorn symbol up here and the Pisces, oh, that tells me that there's a sensitive spot here in this person that's keeping them there. They may either be um, unable to forgive someone or forgive themselves. And that someone doesn't even have to be you. It's whomever set them up to, uh, to, to think or see things a certain way. And they may not even realize that in the moment. Because they got to look back to find it. It's the way around the mountain or over the mountain. Actually, around the mountain would be the easier way because you're, it's, it speaks to going with the flow. Um, so... They didn't get what they wanted to get out of this, uh, out of this, um, it could have been a new beginning, or they didn't receive the growth they thought that they were going to get, or the potential for the growth that they wanted. And I'm saying they wanted because of the card I see right here and here. And even here. You see, when it came to uh, the relationship or a new opportunity or uh, the growth of something, they went to the extreme trying to control with the chariot the outcome. And when they saw that they weren't going to get what they wanted or get actually you know this is about not getting enough somebody holding back something from them you know and and, and when they felt that way uh all of those past experiences it, it's like it, it's like it hit a tender spot having to do with all of those past experiences that just kind of culminated and they um they may have uh, kind of blew up <laughs> in that five of swords energy and uh, so they went to the extreme and we see that with the chariot here okay they went to the extreme they were trying to control someone possibly something someone uh, and they went to the extreme and they lost more, much more than they bargained for. And that is why they ended up in the Moira energy, in the consequences of their actions, regretting and wore right back to where they started in that kind of like that Eight of Swords energy, feeling like a victim. Oh, it happened again. And, and, it's happening again because they're not really looking at the real issue and they may even be pointing the finger and blaming everybody else but when they need to look inside because there's something with inside of them very deep maybe deeper than they know in the moment that is is uh, festering and causing this They may need to look at that very sensitive spot and follow the thread back. And in doing so, they, they may see a connection here uh, as to why something does, it keeps failing. And see, look at this. Oh! <laughs> Oh, look at that. There's the Eight of Swords right underneath this card. Huh? And that Ace of Coins. There it is. There it is there. Okay. And so, um, they were not understanding. They were not cooperative. Okay. Um, because they were afraid. And because of uh, all of the swords they carry, you know, all of those experiences made them very afraid that, you know, this wasn't going to work out the way they wanted. 
uh, that you would be unable to work together or build something together, that that was not going to happen. The way forward, oh, look at that. Wow. The way forward is the same card, but now in the upright with the Ace of Wands. Look at that. So working together uh, to build something um, they may need to be more understanding, more cooperative, more willing to listen uh, to or to be more open-minded. In order for this uh, new opportunity to uh, open up. So, oh well, look at there. There you you go. They are they're doing it. Uh, going within with the high priestess to seek uh, this knowledge. And they're looking at the different cycles. And maybe they are connecting the dots here, you know. Uh, what is it I'm not seeing? You know, what needs to go or what needs to change here with the coffin and the death card? Maybe here they are in the seven of swords. It's like they're looking down at the coin, at the, the coin, okay? And um, maybe uh, I was deceiving myself, you know, or maybe it's all those swords I carry, uh, you know, because there they are running away. That's what they were doing. They were running away with that uh, seven of swords, uh, avoiding something, avoiding looking at the real issue. Um, they There's something that... Uh, Maybe they didn't stick around to talk about the thoughts in their head or what was on their mind, what was in their heart. Maybe they didn't stick around. Maybe they, they ran away, um, not wanting to talk, uh, not wanting to face the real issue here. Um, they were most likely uh, in denial uh, to themselves and to you. And there could be a realization of this. So they could be uh, going through uh, this. It's like a transition. Shedding light. Yeah. See, there's the grapes. There's somebody looking at their options. Uh, this can be something very, uh, it can be as a feeling. It's like a bittersweet feeling, you know. It's like a feeling... Um, Shedding light on a situation, looking at one's options. Um, I, I, I really, the heart is here. Um, this person loves you, I feel, and is uh, trying to f figure out how to get you back. They're trying to figure out how to get you back. Um, I feel that you share a very deep connection with this person. And um, yes, they went to the extreme on something, uh, but it points to something uh, that they really need to look at, that they need for the next leg of the journey. Here, so although uh, this ended badly, uh, I don't feel it's over. Um, it ended this way, and it happened this way to open up something for them to look at, because they need that lesson to in order to move forward. Because we see them coming back here um, in the uh, Six of Cups, looking at the details. Um, of this direction. So they are smelling the rose, the sweet scent of the rose, um, looking at the details of a wish, a desire, a direction, uh, which leads and points to uh, a reunion and a discussion. 
Moving down here, we have the hawk and we have the wasp. So, uh, and the birth and rebirth. <clears throat> Excuse me, the hawk. Well, it is about uh, omens, messages, learning to listen and learn. Now, right next to it is an omen card, so they will be wanting you to listen to that. So, they're saying, um, expect a message to be delivered to you to aid you in your quest, and I feel it is the next card. Um, you could also receive a telephone call, a text, or an email. Um, or even see something or read something that kind of makes something click or pieces or a piece fall into place. Something, uh, or even listening to somebody else, you know, uh, or somebody else's story even. There's something you're going to receive, some type of information that helps you to solve a mystery. You may even have a chance meeting with somebody. The results of that meeting help you to solve a, myst uh, uh, a mystery or a riddle. You may literally, like I said, see the writing on the wall, overhear a conversation between strangers that can reveal your own answer, quite unexpectedly too. But you're going to know it. When it happens, you're going to know it. But what this card is saying, be open to messages from others and be aware of omens and signs even in nature um, that are going to give you with the hawk being up there in the, in the, in the air, in the sky, uh, uh, a bird's eye view, you know, a bigger, larger view of, uh, of this story of what you need to do. The wasp is an omen and it is warning against anger, retaliation, and jealousy. You need to watch those feelings. Um, you need to find out where they come from. So the wasp has a stinger that hurts uh, with you know, with poison when confronted. It warns um, of a possible confrontation. I feel that that has happened, but that if this anger is not kept in check for this future event, that it could possibly happen again. So somebody needs to get control of their emotions um, and avoid... Uh, the sting. Um, because really, chances are uh, that whatever challenge is going to come up uh, that might cause one to use their stinger, believe me, it is much, much smaller than uh, you or they perceive it to be in the grand scheme of things. Now, um, if one pays attention to the signs and the omens, as those I just mentioned, um, it will lead to birth and rebirth. There are some... some uh, some information leads you or is able to leave you, can lead you to a new life, but you must follow the signs and the omens, messages. This marker uh, is a very, very positive marker uh, for any uh, anything new that you wish to start up, including relationships. Uh, or to have an idea take shape, you know, to be birthed into the world. So to manifest something. Anything old or painful um, can be brought forth or transformed 
this card says, by a new perspective. That's very important. Anything old or painful can be brought forth or transformed by a new perspective. It's very important because she was the first card out in the reading. Okay? And that is her way out of there. A new perspective will open the door to forgiveness, whether that's forgiving herself or someone. It reminds, uh, it reminds you uh, that the process leading up to a birth can uh, feel cumbersome, restrictive, painful, and even never-ending. Well, we have all of those things here. And yet, the final shift brings an extraordinary gift of a new life and a total release of the old. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.